Myriad 5 Playout can operate in on-air or off-air mode, and the current mode is shown in the top right-hand corner of the main window. If you hover your mouse over the button, it will show you the current controller and options. We are currently off-air, and this means a variety of things can happen which won't affect the on-air studio and station log. For example, if we wanted to delete an item from the log for the current hour we are in, we won't be allowed to as there is an option selected to only allow the on-air studio to edit the current hour's log, so those options are greyed out for me. Let's look where that permission is set. Settings, User Management Directory Settings, and then the Security Group for All Users and into the General Permissions. In there, there is a tick box to allow the on-air hour to be edited anywhere, including an off-air studio. If we now go on air by left clicking on the off air button, you'll notice the replace item and soft delete buttons activate themselves in the home tab of the station log ribbon toolbar, showing that those options are now available to us. We can now delete an item. Let's look closer at the on air control options. These are found in settings, application settings, and the on air control tab. Now, there are two main questions or options being asked in this window. When to take on-air control, you can select that the computer is never on-air, always on-air, or the third option, which is basically on and off-air some of the time. This is the option that we are using in this video. There is also a sub-option that whenever the log is turned on to take on-air control at the same time. The second question or option is, when another computer requests on-air control, what should I do? You can choose to release control immediately or never automatically release control. If you choose this option, you'll receive a notification that another workstation wants on-air control if it does, and you need to go off-air for another workstation to go on-air. Let's look at how being on-air or off-air affects the log and the log timings. Let's put ourselves off-air and go to the next hour. Here we can turn on the log and go into live assist mode and we can play through the items in the log to have a listen to them and tighten things up in segedit for example. However, because we are not on air, the timings on the left hand side of the log are not changing and are remaining at what they should be when live and on air properly. Let's go back to the current hour and what should be playing if we were on air and I'm going to turn the log on air. Now if I go into live assist mode, which effectively turns the log off standby, the timings will update with the current time that the item is played, and the timings below updated accordingly. Now, because I am on air, I can change the ending type of this song and edit the log as I wish. Let's go back into settings and choose that option to make the station on air when starting the log. Now if I choose live assist to turn on the log, you'll notice that we also go on air at the same time. The major benefit of being on air is that if you have your system set up for OCP, for the online content processor, the now playing and other information will be sent through for distribution to your on air RDS, DAB text, or your web player showing now playing information. More details on on-air and off-air are available in the documentation at thebroadcastradio.com slash support webpage.